In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to set up or how to add an eSIM to your Android phone. Now I'm using a pure stock Android Google Pixel 8, but these instructions should work for most Android phones with maybe a little variation for different user interfaces. Anyway, so the way to set up your eSIM mainly depends on how your provider uh, makes you set up or wants you to set up. Now my provider is Safaricom and they issued this eSIM card. Inside it has a QR code which I have to scan to be able to set up my eSIM. Now obviously this QR code is hidden. I've hidden it so that you cannot be able to scan it but this is my eSIM. Okay so I'm going to scan this QR code and more importantly download the eSIM onto my phone. Now Having mentioned download, one thing you need is internet connection. So you do need Wi-Fi. So make sure your Android phone is connected to a Wi-Fi network so that you're able to download the eSIM onto the Android phone. Now some providers will give you a website that you can go to and download from there. Some will send the files to your phone uh, via email actually some will send you the QR code via email. So it mainly depends on your provider. But once you get your eSIM, here's how to set it up. So what you want to do is go to settings and then go to network and internet and go to SIM cards or SIMs. Now here, as you can see, I already have one physical SIM card inside. I want to add an eSIM since this is a dual SIM Pixel 8 Pro. So I'll tap on add SIM and it's going to prompt me to download a new eSIM. So tap on that and it's going to check the network environment and it detects, I mean, my country and it knows my provider will give me a QR code. So all I have to do now is scan this QR code here, okay? Now, obviously I'm going to do this off camera. And once the QR code has been scanned, it's going to detect that it's from Safaricom, my provider, and prompt me to download. So I'll tap on download. And currently my phone is using Wi-Fi to download the eSIM onto the phone. Now, in case you don't have Wi-Fi, but you have another SIM card, maybe a physical SIM card that has mobile data connection, you can use that as well. So once the eSIM is fully downloaded, it will take me to the settings. And now, as you can see, I have the SIM card added to my phone. This is an eSIM. So it's currently inactive. Can tap on it and activate it by turning on use sim and confirm to turn that on now it's going to ask for my pin of course i have my pin on my little card here so i'm just going to enter that and my sim is now unlocked So it's going to ask me, do I want to use that SIM card for mobile data? I'll just select that and that's it. So you can now see I have two active SIM cards. This is the eSIM we've just added. In fact, I'm already getting text messages from my provider, as you can see. And that is basically how to set up or how to add an eSIM to your Android phone. You can now choose which SIM you want to use for calls preference. Uh, SMS preferences and mobile data. All right. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.